Hey everybody, it's Bluetooth and welcome to New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. It's a mouthful itself, and it also has some ups and downs to it and right off the bat. So, let's get into it. It's a really good game, especially because it it's a remake of the, well, a HD port of the original from the Wii U with a few additions. Uh, but if we go to a new file now, the thing is, with four players, the characters are Mario, Luigi, Toad, Toadette, and Nabbit. So you can only have three normal characters and one easy character. And Blue Toad is actually still in the game if you hold down L while on the Toad selection. So you can play as Blue Toad, which I'm going to be doing. But you can only have three normal characters and an easy character, which upsets me because I feel like this really needs you to be able to have four playable characters, and even if two of them are Toad, it'd still be better than having an easy character. Uh, but anyway, let's get started as Toad. It's very nice because in this version we can pick any character we want to play as, even if we're playing by ourselves in single player, so... We're not limited to playing as just Mario. I love the way that they introduce new power-ups into the Mario Bros. games. Like, in the Wii, it was the presence of the mini mushroom, no, the, the uh, proper copter, helicopter mushroom and the penguin suit, and they just flew out all over the place and everywhere. In this game, it does the same thing, and I really like the way it does that. With the uh, super acorns, I'm pretty sure they're what they're called. Probably, I might be wrong, but anyway. This is a little bit backwards. But anyway, welcome to Acorn Plains. But this is backwards because instead of Bowser taking Peach away from Peach's castle, Peach's castle, or Mario has been taken away from Peach's castle, and now we need to get all the way back over there. But anyway, let's get started in Acorn Plains way. This controls very similarly to the Wii, except it's on the Switch now. Ah, uh, but you would jump around, move as we would normally. Grab a power up. Ah, uh, grab that please, thank you. And now we have the squirrel suit, which means we can hold down the jump button to glide. We can also press the R button to get a little bit of an extra boost, which I might actually do to get up there. We can also cling onto walls, if I can cling onto wall. Please. Like that, for a little bit. We'll slide off eventually, but for a while we'll just stay there, so. But anyway, let's grab this mushroom for an extra life, which is good. Need to get to the end of the level before the time runs out. We can also hold down the the use item button, like a, our action button, which would be normal if we had a fire flower right now, but we don't. Uh, to run, which is what I'd normally do, so. Uh, but anyway, let's go down this pipe here since we can. It's been a it's been a few years since I last played through this game, and it's kind of crazy to think about that. I think it's been two years, but anyway, got two star coins. I'm gonna try and get all of the star coins. But yeah, this is a fairly normal New Super Mario Bros. game at this point. Uh, down here is a secret coins. Not much else from that. 
Uh-oh. 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 Uh -oh. Uh -oh. That's a great start. But it probably doesn't help that I jumped directly into the enemy to start off, so... Let's head back in. We didn't get a checkpoint, so we have to go all the way back to the beginning of the level. Which is a shame. It's a real shame. But I did get... The, uh... The one-up, so I didn't really lose... Everything. I just lost mostly everything. Now I get to run through this as quick as possible. We can also do triple jumps and other stuff like that. If we play our cards right, but I'm not really doing that right now, so let's just move on. Also, I love the backgrounds in this game because the backgrounds look a lot more... 3D-ish, I guess? Where things move it... And it looks a lot... It just looks a lot better than... Uh... The Wii. I think Wii U does the same thing though, so that's pretty cool as well. Of course it would. Uh, but anyway. Let's go up here. I also like the glider enemies that we get the, um, the acorns from. But anyway, we can ground pound to go down here by just pressing down when we're in the air. We can also do this on slopes to slide down. We've got a checkpoint, so now we won't lose progress from this point. As long as we don't game over. But when will I ever game over? Maybe? <laughs> I don't know. Collect all the red coins after going through the ring to get power-ups, or possibly a one-up, depending on what you have on you. You need to do it before the timer runs out as well. Basic stuff. Also, if you press the R button on the ground, you can do a spin jump, which, with the glider power-up, makes you jump high. But also, if you spin next to a flower, it will also give you a coin, which it does in New Super Mario Bros. Wii as well, so... All the things are just... This, this, it's it's so different but the same and it's great. Anyway, let's go up this pipe here. You, need to, you can go through pipes by holding in the direction that the pipe is. Oh, this is a cool room. Love this music as well. For the bonus areas. Oh, don't touch me. Oh dear, that's not good. Just need to grab that coin there and we're good. You can also spin in mid-air to kind of slow your fall. But other than that, that's that whole room there. It's a shame there are enemies there to completely mess up everything I could possibly do. Uh, but anyway, let's head to the end of the level and jump on the flag. If you hit the top of the flagpole, you get a 1-up anywhere else in the flagpole, you just get points. If you land on the flagpole with the last two numbers of the timer the being the same, you'll get a reward. Which I believe is usually just an item. Depending on- I, d I don't know what sets up what item it gives you, but that's what it does. But anyway. Acorn Plains 2, Tilted Tunnel. I like tilted things. I mean, it's nice to have things all straight and at an angle, like a proper angle, but everything tilted works as well, so. Uh, anyway, let's go into this secret hole there, which gives some coins. It's a very random thing, but it's there, so. Uh, but now let's go into the underground. Which looks pretty cool. We also have a fire flower now, which is good. Means we can shoot everything and get coins from them. But I need to be careful. There's a lot of slopes here, which is cool, but also look at these crystal blocks. They look so cool. We're gonna move around. All over the place. I don't think you can get crushed there, but it's okay. Uh, if we land up here, though, and jump... We get some secret platforms to appear and some coins to get... ...going to the path as well. Collect 90, no, you collect 100 coins and you also get a, what's it called? Um, a 1-up, which is good. I think the maximum 1-ups you can get is 99. If you hit all those enemies in a row and get a combo going, you get more, more and more points. Uh, but after a while, you just keep getting 1-ups, so. We're doing quite well. Uh, but anyway, let me go up here. Can we also use this... Cooper shell, which we can pick up if we're holding the run button down, which means it can hit that block from the side, allowing us to make this vine go up instead of down by ground pounding on the block and making us completely miss the secret. Okay. Let's use this pipe, which is actually a cannon pipe, which means it will sh shoot us back out again, directly into that star coin. Okay. I'm pretty sure that goes up, which is good for us because we can actually go up here. But not only can we go up here, we can also go up here, which is actually a secret secret. Which is something I'm probably going to leave for a little bit. Possibly? Maybe. 
I don't know, this this is... Uh, I can probably do it now. I'll just do it now, whatever. Uh, but anyway, let me just quickly check there, because there's sometimes one-up blocks just around. But this is a red flag, which is the secret exit of a level, which means this will take us somewhere else. Also like how the bricks are, like, dark blue? Kind of, most, mostly, mm, no, it's definitely black, grey, or dark, dark, very, I don't know. I'm gonna call them black bricks, whatever. Except they don't really fit that either, I don't know. I don't know what to call them. Ah, uh, but anyway, this is a secret exit that leads over there. But Peach's castle is now taken over completely by Bowser, which I think we would only be able to see later on if we didn't get this shortcut to over here. Ah, uh, but anyway, Blooper's secret lair. Let's take a look at this. Now this is an underwater level, which is a bit of a, a jump in everything. Uh, but we also have these pipes here. Whenever you jump underwater, you just float up a little bit. Uh, also these bloopers here will try and match your level of height, so... You need to be careful to try and not go too far above them or too far below them. Also, you need to be careful of them jumping out of the pipes. Okay, we're good. Ah, you just run. It's fine. It's very slow in the underwater level. Uh, but also these pipes are blowing air around, which is both good and bad because it makes us move faster, but also can push us into the bad places. Which, if we go off screen down uh, the bottom of the screen, we'll die. So we need to avoid that. Uh, but also... Ah, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. I need to go down here, I believe. Because if I manage to go underneath this pipe and just stay alive, we can get that coin there. Okay, and now for this red ring for these red coins. Quickly. Come on. There we go. Okay, what do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Please give me the power up before the blooper gets me. Oh, blooper. Okay, it's still not close enough to me, which is good. So I'm just going to go up here. I'm missing a coin, but I don't know. Oh no, it's still here. Cool, we have to go up now. Usually we have to go to the right of the screen, or go up, or possibly down. Uh, but anyway, here's the last star coin. These bloopers also have a trail of mini bloopers following them. So we're just going to avoid all of that and head up further now. Oh, don't, 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 don't. Going to avoid the blooper if I can, got the pipe, thank you. And now we're at the end. Nothing there, okay. Come on. There we go. Also, I believe either the first per person on the flagpole or the highest person on the flagpole gets their flag on the flagpole, so... I, I, might, I might be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure it's one of those two. But anyway, by completing that little secret level, we actually get a shortcut basically halfway through the game, so... That's gonna be a while till we actually get to where that is going. But we can go there if we want to. Yes, I'll save. Because you need to... You, 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 well, I think you can just save in this game, possibly. Or at least balloon save. Yeah, you can quick save. But it doesn't actually save your... Like, progress unless you actually save. Because if you get a game over, you go back to the last save, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Possibly, but anyway. Now we just need to get through this level again and get the last star coin. So let's see how fast I can get through here without dying. Well, that's a good start. Also, if you spin and then hit an enemy with your spin, you actually get a big boost jump. 
So, a big bounce off of them. I'm really bad at this, apparently. Oh, 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 this is fine. This is so fine. Also, in the Wii U version, if you have a fifth player on the gamepad, they can actually place blocks for you to stand on. And if you jump on enough of their blocks, uh, it gives them a little power-up, which means that they can kill enemies on screen or break blocks on screen. And basically, invincibility kind of... I, I, I actually can't remember, but anyway. Uh, they can also see invisible... Uh, three up moon blocks, which means that if they tap it, it can make it visible to the players. And if the players, hang on, we need to ground pound here. If the players hit the three up moon block, it'll give them three up moons for each player, which are basically three extra lives for each one collected, which is pretty good. But they're very obscure, so, and it's it's very unlikely that you would play with someone on the gamepad. But I, I don't know. It's also the Wii U, so. I don't know who's played on the Wii U, other than me or not. Anyway, we can also go up here, I believe. Which, this is just for coins, but it's interesting that this is a here. Because there's just a lot of secrets, apparently, just hidden everywhere. But anyway, this should be the end of the level. But first, of course, I want to get an extra life, so let's grab that. And let's go. Very nice. Okay. Now we have a mushroom house and the mid castle, so let's do the mushroom house first. Toad house. Pick a block and I'll give you whatever item's inside. I'm gonna shuffle them now, so watch closely. You don't want to pick a Bowser. Okay, so there's two items in a Bowser. We just need to keep our eye on the Bowser, basically, so we don't pick that block. But it should be somewhat difficult to keep track of them, or maybe not. You can hit two blocks. Be careful, though. If you hit a block with a Bowser inside, the game is over. So, we can hit one block and get an item. But if we hit the Bowser block, it will just be over. Or if we hit the Bowser block on the first try, it's just completely over and we don't get anything. But anyway, let's grab those, and we are good. You won! Check it out! And now it's time for another drawback. I mean, it's not that bad, because the original was a bit overpowered, I suppose. But also, our items. If we press R on the map, we can open them up. If a course is too cut tough, an item might help. But also, this is as much space as we have for items. That is it. They don't stack. They just... That's, that's how many we can get. So this is just sad. But anyway, let's do Crushing Cog's Tower. So basically, a star and a mushroom aren't the greatest items to have just in your inventory. So, a fire flower would be better, or something like that, but anyway, let's grab this. We've got a lot of moving blocks on the screen. We also have a dry bones, which we can't take out with a normal attack by jumping on top of it, or using fire. Uh, but if we go up further, I think one of those blocks... No, hang on. One of these blocks, this one, has an ice flower in it for us, so let's grab that. And this means we can get rid of the dry bones by picking them up and throwing them around, or, or maybe just you know, ground pounding on them, because we can freeze them and do whatever we want to them, but they can break out of the ice after a few seconds. Okay, well, now that we're in a tower, also, uh, it's important to note that the same rules as in Mario Bros. Wii apply, where if the wall is coloured completely, it means that there's a secret behind it, so, because normally the walls would just have the outline in colour, and the inside is the basic white coloured, or cream you know, the basic blocks inside. Uh, but... Where it's all coloured in the, the colour of the outline, it's a secret, so... Now, I also need to go down here as carefully as possible to grab that. Very nice. There's also Bowser Jr. Uh... In the wall... 
inscript. In, 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 in I don't know what the word is. There's a statue face of him in the wall, which is pretty cool. Uh, but anyway, let's grab all of these so I can get an extra life. Need to be careful of where the item spawns in on the top of the screen because it might spawn in in like a whole po pocket up there or in the wall. But if it spawns in the wall though, it will just fall down through the wall, which is good for us, so. Uh, but anyway, let's grab that checkpoint so we can use that. Whenever you grab a checkpoint, if you have not got a power-up and you're just small, it will give you a mushroom, so. That's something else to keep in mind, especially with multiplayer. So that everyone can stay powered up. But anyway, we also need to not get crushed here if we can manage that, because that, that would be bad to get crushed. Oh, speaking of which, speaking of which, I think I missed something down there. This is not good to have this little power right now. Okay, there's the thing there, so I need to go down further. It's fine, it's fine, it's so fine, it's so fine, it's so fine. Okay, down here is a pipe, which should shoot us up, giving us the coin. And now we just need to survive a little bit more. Grab that mushroom, and let's see with all this. If we had an ice flower, we could freeze one of these and throw it down the line, getting rid of all of these. Uh, but I do not. But I can wall jump up here and get a bunch of coins. And also, usually before a boss, there is also a fire flower. Which, if you don't have a mushroom, is just a mushroom, so... Make sure you stay powered up and don't get hit by things. Easier said than done, I... <laughs> I guess, but... I should really just play better. Anyway, let's get rid of Boom Boom, if I can. He's a fairly simple boss. Just need to jump on him when he's not stunned. And avoid being hit by his arms. And you can also hit him, like, just as he's getting back up. But he's fairly simple. Except I'm also doing terrible, so I don't know. What do I know? Well, I know a lot of things, I'm just bad. But anyway, that is that taken care of. Which gives us a save point. Because if you complete a castle or mid-castle, allows you to save. Which I think you can only... I'm pretty sure... I'm not sure if you can only do it once, or if you can actually go back in again, complete it, and get another save. Anyway, at this crossroads here, a acorn, super acorn, will just spawn in randomly sometimes, so that's good to get. But anyway, let's keep going and give ourselves a mushroom just because I want to have something. And I don't want to have a mushroom in my inventory because I don't want to run out of space and have a mushroom there. Anyway, Yoshi Hill, it's time. It's time for our friend to return to us. Okay, let's hit this block. Not that block. It's probably not even here, is it? That's fine, because I think if I go up here, though... Am I wrong? I'm wrong. Okay. That's fine. If I bounce up here, maybe... Invisible block. Invisible block with a mushroom. A one-up in it. That one. Cool. All of the secrets. Anyway, this block has a Yoshi egg in it. Which I'm pretty sure in this version... I'm pretty sure... I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but I think all the Yoshis are the same color. Which is unfortunate, because that makes it difficult to... Well, I guess it doesn't matter, but also... That was kind of a highlight of the Wii version, I guess. Was the different colored Yoshis. I guess it means you don't have to worry about whose is whose, but anyway. We can also bounce off of these, uh, prana plants here as Yoshi. And we can also use our attack button, slash action button, to... Use Yoshi's tongue, which means we can grab fruit by, I guess, going into it, or possibly just, um, walking into it. But we can also pick up shells and throw those around to try and get one-ups, which I would have done there if I did better. If we get five fruits, we get an item, which, if we have full items, I believe it gives us a one-up. Um... Yeah, all of the things. Also, we can pick up an item in Yoshi's mouth as well to carry that away around, or possibly an, uh, a second player. Uh, we can also grab enemies that can't be killed with a jump, so... There's a lot of different ways to do everything, basically. Uh, but anyway, let me be careful. Yoshi, come back. Yoshi, come back. Yoshi, no! Oh, I lost Yoshi. This is fine. Let's go down this pipe here.
If you have Yoshis on the screen when you go down a pipe as well, it will take them with you, so... But... It's a shame, really. He's just gone. 256 time, Pog. It's fine. That's only something only some people will understand. Uh, anyway. Oh, fire piranha plant. Need to be careful of that, because that's gonna just be annoying. You can also grab the fireballs with Yoshi's tongue to grab them and then make a giant fireball to spit out. Uh, but anyway, that is that done. And now we can keep moving. We also have a split path here, so we can go two ways. Well, let's go over this way, and go over here, and get a Baby Yoshi. Hey, I'm Baby Yoshi! You look like you know where to find food, so I guess I'll follow you. So we have this pink Yoshi following us now, pink Baby Yoshi. Which I guess makes sense as to why there aren't multicolored Yoshis for you to ride on, is because they have the Baby Yoshis in, in different colors, which could get confusing. Anyway, let's go to Mushroom Heights. Which I believe is a sky level for us, so... Uh, but anyway, why don't we start on a level with the Baby Yoshi? We can pick it up before it goes off the edge, hopefully. And they have a unique thing where we can press R to... ...expand them and float. Also, whenever you're holding a Baby Yoshi in a level, the music has a Baby Yoshi singing in it. So that's something else that I think is really cool. Uh, I believe Baby Yoshi can also... ...if you run into certain enemies, not all enemies, will eat them giving you points and not having to worry about the enemies as well, but not not everything works like that, so you need to be careful how you do it. You also can't float in the air forever, so you need to make sure you recharge your baby Yoshi as much as possible, being very careful. You can also collect things with uh, the baby Yoshi's hitbox, so it's good to do that. Just collect all those coins using the baby Yoshi. Anyway, checkpoint. Let's keep going. Also want to get that. Oh, oh, everything's good, everything's great. Let me just eat you, because we can apparently do that, and go down this pipe. You just need to make sure you don't let go of the baby Yoshi. Okay, let's grab that. Oh, I'm gonna mess this up. I'm messing this up. Okay, so if the green... You go through a green loop, it'll spawn in some green coins that you need to collect all of. And you'll have a small amount of time to collect them in. And it works basically the same as a red as the red coins, so. Uh, but anyway, let's go up here and grab this. Extra one up. I believe uh, the uh, baby Yoshis work the same way as the regular Yoshis. If they're on screen and you go down a pipe, they'll go with you. So that could be good. Uh, but anyway, I need to go down here. Carefully, not like that. Like that. Cool. Now let's just go to the end, which I presume is not that far away. Oh, there it is. There we go. If you get the Yoshi to the baby Yoshi to the end of the level, you can also take it with you to the next level. But if it dies, you or something, you lose it, and you may not have one for a while. But they will respawn on the map eventually, after a while. So you might have to clear a few levels. Possibly quite a few levels before it respawns. You also can't take Baby Yoshi's into towers or castles, so we can't take it to that castle over there. Which I guess is fine since we have another level to do over this way anyway. So, let's do Rise of the Piranha Plants. Let's -a go. Oh my goodness, gigantic piranha plants. Also, sloped blocks, which make weird things happen basically. Uh, mainly in the fact that, um, hang on, I need to put this Yoshi down and take you out. They will just wander off on their own as well, so you need to be careful with the baby Yoshis. Uh, you can take out the giant piranha plants with a couple of, uh, fireballs, so that's something you can do. Also, I need to be careful. So I like these, uh, platforms moving. It's pretty cool. Hammer bro, let me just take you out. Oh, not like that. Apparently, I can't eat you. Ah, uh, but that's fine. I believe I could eat probably the hammers, maybe? I don't know. Oh, hey. Just gonna go straight through everything here. 
Yes, I can eat the hammers. You can take out the hammer bros by jumping on them or taking out the block underneath them. Okay, everything's good. So good. Uh, but I do need to go into this pipe up here. So let me wait a little bit for that to go up. Grab the Yoshi. And let's go through the pipe. Okay. This is good. Let me just get rid of all of these if I can manage that. I don't know if I can... <laughs> I think I should have probably kept the baby Yoshi with me, but a little bit more. It's fine, we're good. We're so good. Just need to get rid of you and grab this star coin. And hit that. Get a star power, which would have been helpful five seconds ago. I love how the baby Yoshi sings with the songs, it's so cool. Even the rainbow star. Well, star power, technically. Uh, I don't think there's anything over there, so I'm gonna not do that. Uh, but anyway, let's go down this way. Eat those Goombas. I can see that block there, though. Is that something important? Or am I crazy? Hang on. I need to take out that hammer bro, probably. First, who can also jump from different levels, but isn't doing that at the moment. Can I go onto this wall? I can go onto that wall, okay. That's why that's there, okay. Makes sense. Anyway, there's last star coin, and this is the end. Which means that you can also use the uh, Baby Yoshi to get the top of the flagpole. And there's also an invisible wall behind the flag, so you can't overshoot the flag, so... Don't worry about that, just aim for the top. Get as high as you can when you hit that wall. Okay, and now we have a few things. We have a life house. We also have a piranha plant in our path, which we can avoid. Otherwise, we can walk into it and get into a fight with it, which is a thing that's going to happen in every world, probably. These cannons are about to fire a barrage of coins and one-ups. Collect as many as you can. Get more one-ups than Bowser's to earn one-ups. Okay, so here we go. These cannons are going to shoot out lots of things for us to collect. We can get coins, which guarantee lives. Oh boy. Uh, but there are also the one-up icons that you can collect. Uh, but if you collect a Bowser, it will cancel out a life icon, so... That can be difficult. Give me that. Thank you. The coins are the most important thing about this, though, so... Okay, last one. Grab that. I'm, I think I got one one-up out of the icons. Because I collected a few Bowsers. No, two. Okay. So I collected two Bowsers and four one-ups, but that means I only get two one-ups. But of course, I also collected coins in that, which also helps towards lives. If you run out of lives, you go back... I think if you have multiplayer, at least. If somebody... If, if nobody's run out of lives, you get extra lives back. Uh, anyway, let's take out this piranha plant by bumping into it. There'll be different enemies in different worlds, so... Uh, anyway, let's get rid of you. There's also a block that will have a... star power in it, but we don't need that. And let's get out of here. Oh my goodness, that's another star power. You get an item for defeating enemies on the road, so... But anyway... That's pretty much everything here done. But now let's go to the castle. Which we can't take Yoshi, uh, Baby Yoshi into. Let me swing back castle. Let me use the star power because I feel confident. I could also take an acorn with me probably, but I'm just gonna go for it. Here we go! Got these swing platforms and also an acorn so I didn't need to worry about not having that. We can also go up here in the secret room of the ceiling. Uh, but anyway, let's just glide carefully all over the place. I think after you spin in midair to get an extra boost, you also slow down the rate that you uh, fly, so... It's good to just float normally if you can, for as long as you can. But anyway, this is going smoothly. Don't even need an item right now. Oh, I'm risking it all right now. It's okay, though. 
Let's just keep gliding, careful of the potaboos. Go down the pipe. No, no, why? Platform, you've ruined everything. That was going so well as well. Anyway. <laughs> I think I got a checkpoint. I can't remember. If they, if you do have a checkpoint, they will appear next to the coins on the map, so you can see that I have one there. Any faded coins on there also shows which ones you have collected so far and have saved because of the checkpoint. Uh, but it's not completely saved because you could game over, so... But anyway, back into this. We need to recollect a co uh, one of the star coins. And get the last one as well. Oh, this is a shame. This is bad because I don't have a thing to glide to get that, and that's going to make this difficult to get. Oh, that's bad. I might need to use a parap to enter the level with an acorn, because otherwise I'm in trouble. So let's do that. Give me the acorn. Might as well use it, it's not that special. Okay. Another acorn, because I could have got that if I had a mushroom, but I don't have a mushroom, so it's okay. I'm also going to collect these now, I think. Just because. I wasted a few lives. Not that I really need lives right now. Anyway, let's not ground pound with the swinging platforms around, because that seems very dangerous. Because whenever you ground pound on a sloped platform, it will make you slide down it. And that's not a great idea with... Uh... Trying to ground pound into a pipe, so... With lava around, so... Let's not do that. Anyway, let's also collect this fire flower here, since there's always a fire flower before a boss. Sometimes it's more well hidden than others. But anyway, let's head in. And let's head up the stairs. Because we need to get up to that flying ship now. Let's go down this cannon pipe, and let's go. So at the end of each world is a coupling boss, which will have a different thing, a way of attacking you. But you just need to jump on the head and then dodge everything, all the rest of the attacks, like them in being a shell. But if you can manage to hit them just before they, or just as they're getting back up, it might make it a lot easier for you. Okay. Be very careful. And there we go. You got all the stars and acorn planes. That's gotta mean something good, right? Yes, it does. But anyway, let's save, and that is it for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.